Hey there YouTube, fellow DIYers. I have a really cool Arduino project for you guys to do if you're bored and you want to learn something. Um, the code for what I'm doing is in the description. Note, there are two codes. There's one for a rear bike wheel and one for a front bike wheel. What I designed um, is a replica of a commercial product that doesn't, it's not open sourced. It's called Revo Lights, R-E-V-O Lights. Um, they are a cool bicycle lighting system that lights up your wheel in an innovative way. Um, bicycle safety is really huge where I live. I um, commute around on my bike a lot in Portland, Oregon. And um, the, L the LEDs that are lighting this bike wheel that would be like the Revo light system, um, this is simulating it uh, in a very similar way to get the same physical um, output. Basically, there's 12 LEDs around this wheel, and they sequentially light up so that only this 120 degree arc around the wheel is lit. And with the Revo light system, the front wheel, say this is a front wheel, as you're riding down the road, this front 120 degree arc is lit white, and on your rear wheel back here, it's lit red while you're riding. Um, you can program it to do whatever you want when you stop. But it's really cool, it maintains a light bar. So um, I'll show you what that looks like. Let me just flick the lights so you can see really good. Um, I designed this system because it sounded like a cool, fun project. A guy in 2011 was trying to um, open source this or make his own Revo light-like system. And uh, just YouTube Revo lights are really cool. Um, but they're really expensive. They're like, I think, 230 bucks for a system for a front and back wheel. And most people can't afford that. And bicycle safety is pretty important. So put this out in the open source community and DIYers can make it for themselves. So, but anyways, um, as you start spinning the wheel, it takes a minute to adjust. But the light arc bar will develop on the back. And um, it, it's maintained there. So basically what the program is doing is it's calculating the RPM and then it's breaking the wheel up into um, time spans that equal like the 12 LEDs. So it's calculating the revolution and then it's uh, determining basically off of that time it takes to revolve when it should sequentially turn on and off the 12 LEDs that are evenly spaced around it to maintain this light bar. Um, the wheel's turning counterclockwise, and at the bottom of this arc, there's an LED spinning counterclockwise around this wheel. When it gets to the end of the lit bar, it turns off. When the one at the top is going into that section, it turns on. So they turn on and off sequentially. Um, it's just awesome. I think it's really cool that um, someone designed this. Uh, the guy in the forum couldn't get his to work, and I just borrowed the code. It was from an Arduino forum. And um, I modified the code to work with my Arduino Uno. I don't know exactly what he was using. Um, and he was also using a magnetic read switch. I changed this to a magnetic Hall effect sensor um, for uh, triggering the um, hardware interrupt. Um, hardware interrupt zero, which is pin one on the Arduino, or I'm sorry, pin two. And um, basically, um, this is just a mock-up. Um, I have an Arduino Uno zip tied into the um, uh, spokes. But uh, eventually here, I'll probably reduce this to a different microcontroller, uh, make it smaller, uh, just try to refine it and have a cool bicycle lighting system. With the actual Revo lights, when you slow down and you're going really slow, the arc doesn't maintain very well. However, on this code, you can go really slow. I'm decelerating slowly so that arc can be maintained. And um, in real life, you don't always move with such you know, finesse, but um, whatever, the bike, eventually you're at a pretty maintained speed and the arc will maintain in the back. Um, the Revo light system doesn't hold a good arc at low speeds, or at least the first couple revisions. This one works pretty good. Um, it would look better if I probably evenly spaced the LEDs out a little bit better. But uh, like I said, this is a crude mock-up. So I'm going pretty slow and the light bar is maintaining. And then I'm gonna really speed up really fast. 
and now I'm going like bombing down a hill. And um, once I'm at a steady speed, that light bar is maintained again. Um, the actual Revo light system doesn't have 12 LEDs. It has uh, 24, but there's 12 on either side of the wheel. And there's one on one side of the, for every LED on one side of the wheel, there's one mirrored exactly on the other side of the rim. So they're hooked up in parallel and they're hooked up both to one output of a microcontroller so they trip on at the same time. And the LEDs kind of aim out and down, so they aim at the cars behind you and at the cars adjacent to you at the intersections where most bicycle accidents occur. Um, so the front light bar would be on the opposite side of the rim, 180 degrees over. And uh, like I said, the front one is white on the Revo light system and red on the back, so yeah. Um, I kind of think of this, if you're trying to conceptualize it, as a hamster wheel. The bicycle wheel right now is spinning counterclockwise, and the light bar is spinning clockwise at the exact same speed, so um, the light bar is staying stationary. It's kind of like a light hamster. Um, so yeah, just like a treadmill, this light bar is on a circular treadmill. And, um, you know, like if you're on a treadmill and you're walking, if you're walking at the same velocity that the treadmill's going in the opposite direction, then you'll stay stationary. If you run faster than it's going, you'll run off the front of it. And if you go slower because you're tired or space out, you'll fall off the back. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on here. So what's a pretty cool effect for you to see is... Um, if I immediately stop this thing, then the light bar will spin clockwise the way that it's creeping up and spinning around and maintaining where it's at. If I stop this thing, the wheel stops turning counterclockwise and the light bar will turn clockwise at the same speed for a couple seconds that the wheel was just turning. So check it out. Um, it's programmed to go into standby mode. It just turns off all the LEDs. I'll do something cool like, I don't know, make a cool pattern or something, a star pattern at some point in time. Um, yeah, but that's uh, basically it. Um, the description, in the description for the code, I have, or for the video, I have all the code. Um, like I said, there's a front wheel code and a back wheel code. Um, hook it up, upload them, ask me questions, mod it, change it, do it.